What we are showing here on Infocom 2023 is now our new feature, V-Solution Composer. The idea behind V-Solution Composer is to have a simple and easy, intuitive user interface for a presentation, such as in a lecture hall, for example. There is a Cyanet Pro installed into a rack as the centerpiece and everything we need for the presentation when it comes to streaming, recording, web conferencing, but also compose the presentation. Everything is built into Cyanet and can be controlled on one screen. We learned our users, they want to be not overwhelmed by all the functions and buttons of all these different screens in such an installation. They want to have a simple user interface. So we have three HDMI outputs on Cyanet Pro. The first one goes to screen number one, the second one to screen number two, and the third one to the control monitor. So if I want to add content to a presentation, I just have two buttons to do that. The source menu gives me the possibility to add content, which is available for Cyanet. That could be a connected camera over like the visualizer over HDMI, but also the built-in browser or a whiteboard. With the other button down here, we can also add files. There is a document and media player built in, so without, uh, with a, without the need of an in-room PC, I can directly access my files, for example, from a USB stick or a network drive to open content for my presentation. So let's open a video, for example, but also a document. To prepare down here in this section, it's not live for the students or for the audience yet. I just tap on the icons to, to prepare my content. So let's tap on the visualizer. The control bar is adjusted now just for the content which is open. And I have an annotation layer to annotate over the content. So for example, we're going to zoom in and set the focus correctly. But also here on the PDF, we tap on it. The control bar is adjusted and I can swipe to page three because maybe I, this is what I want to show. Also the video. Let's pause the video, go to a certain section of the video and close it again. So now I'm ready to present. To show it to the audience, it's an easy drag and drop gesture and it's then on the screen and resume the, automa uh, the video automatically. But also the visualizer. Let's put that on the second screen. If I want to change the order, also there, just drag and drop to change the order. If I put it to the center, it will replace the content. If I go to the side, it will be side by side view. So that's all the control of the presentation when it comes to show content on the screens. To record, there is easy, just a recording button up here. By a press on that, it will automatically start recording. And we're gonna have three independent recordings for every screen and in addition, a camera which is available in the room. This camera can be connected over IP, USB or HDMI. To do a web call, it's also easy. We have a built-in web-based web conferencing solution. So if, in this case, we are de uh, demoing it with a Teams account, which is the credentials are stored on the sign up, just a press on Team will bring up the Teams window on the left-hand side and then it's logged in and I'm ready to do my web call. What you can see here, my tablet is also uh, uh, prepared for the team. So I'm going to call into the room and then we have a point to point call. As you can see now on the screen, there is an incoming call from the tablet and I can directly pick it up here at my touch screen. So we are now connected over the cameras. The quality is not too good on our Infocom, the uh, bandwidth is quite low. But to showcase now the screen sharing, that's the complicated part normally when it comes to a web conference. It's so easy. I just start a screen sharing function of my service. That can be Teams, Zoom, WebEx, everything is supported. And now my screen number two gets uh, uh, is my screen sharing monitor to change content to share into the web conference. I just easily drag and drop another content up here. Then it's visible on the HDMI output. But as you can see also on the far side on the tablet, maybe the student side, it is available. So the experience at home on the far side and in the room, it's exactly the same. Also bring your own devices supported by all our Signup family members. We have now the possibility to connect up to eight bring your own device sections down here. 
and use it for the presentation. If the system is installed in an active learning environment or an AV over IP environment, also VSolution Matrix is built in. So if we tap the flyover of VSolution Matrix, we're going to have room view available up to 40 student stations. And now that's the new feature of Matrix 2.0 we have the live previews of the content. So it's really easy to see what we are sharing and we have more streams now. Three streams in total. Every output can be a stream and also an additional camera. So if I want to share the video which is playing just with the group left, this will be then shared to the left side of the classroom and the visualizer picture with the right side. So if you have an overview here, now they're receiving different streams and it's even possible to pull content to the, con uh, to the main screen and decide if it is on the left-hand side or on the right-hand side. So thank you for watching and more infos on wolfvision.com.